Hello everybody, I'm Insertum. We're going to play some more Battle Brothers with the Legends mod, doing the solo Crusader playthrough. I'm excited to see, you guys haven't got to see it yet, so I haven't got any comments back, but I'm excited to see reactions to the last episode. We went out west, just trying to chase down some bandits real quick, because we thought it'd be fun. It's a type of job that I really enjoy, quote unquote, <laughs> it is. Uh, but there's that champion I really wanted to fight, and he had a really great axe, which we were able to pick up, which is a lot of fun, but we went through hell to get it. Uh, still feeling a little bit under the weather today. It's really just uh, switching my, my sleeping schedule around. I wasn't able to fall asleep last night until like 3 in the morning. And of course, I got up at like 7.30 because I had to take my cat, who is sick, to the vet. And not, not like proper sick, just like has a sinus infection. Like, come on. Who even knew cats had sinuses? Like, right? What are they, humans? Anyways, focusing on the game. Uh, I did want to mention last episode, and I forgot to, that I'm not ignoring this ambition. I just keep getting distracted and forgetting. But while we're here in Singhoban, one of them is this, like, island down here. So let's go there. And the other two are up there. So I would like to make our way up there and do this ambition. I also want to... What do we have here? Speaking of distracted. Um, no, we're not, we're not hunt, hunting nightmares. Um, though I do... I don't want to do that either. I do want to head to a taxidermist and see what we can make with our new little bits that we gathered. Um, I already forgot. I got distracted and forgot what I was going to talk about. We need some more tools. Uh, these tools are outrageous. Let's sell that since they're about to go bad. The fish are a good price though. And how many of these can we hold? These are a decent price. Let's take some of those. And that's probably about all you have to offer me. Singhoban. Why are these ports are all... Well, they're all owned by the same people except for Singhoban. Fair enough. It's so cheap to travel against, like, by yourself. Uh, how do I look? I think I'm ready. So let's head up northwest. Um... Trying to take this way up here, I think it's probably better going up there. I want to stop in Ellenborg just because they have one attack dermis, but a weaponsmith. Uh, small towns like that are great places for weaponsmiths and armors. It's easy to get your favor up with them. Oh god. Thugs, marksmen, a leader. I'm not concerned so much about the leader, but I don't feel like dealing with a freaking marksman. Especially when we're low on tools. Uh, luckily, they're stuck in a swamp. Uh, you have a job, and you're being raided. Which means you're gonna have crap for selection, but that's okay. It's not the tax Oh, we can make an Alp trophy? Will they keep us from falling asleep? Oh, it's 5% experience gain. Um, that's actually quite nice. Especially when we're getting, what, like 3,000 experience a fight? That's like 150 experience, right? If I did that math off the top of my head real quick. We make a cat potion from Alp skin. Heighten your senses, sharpen your reflexes. That's not very specific on what it actually does for me. I'm not really sure. I know this one is like resolve. Cat potion is what? Fatigue? Initiative? Probably initiative. Just quickly looking through here. It's all food. More potions. Potion of Oblivion is a nice potion. Uh, not that we should be needing it, hopefully. Lessons are learned easily. Um, that's not really a description of what you do. I think it gains you like 20% experience, but it used to also tell you, so that might not be true. Lionheart, Hexen, will heal and remove fatigue for eight turns but poisons for three uh, hmm. flask of stormwork blood whatever we're not we're not there it's fine just ignore that there's a lot of things to look at absurdum you don't need to look at all of them what do you do six resolve hmm. it's honestly not that great demonic banshee trophy a Vinzel mother? If you listen closely, you can still hear her sobbing from the jar. 
<laughs> might fetch some coin. Uh, I'm sorry, a what now? Demon hound bones. Oh, a hoon hoon. That's what we were looking at. Nothing like a hellhound. Faint, eerie glow about them. And this will make a what now? Demonic Banshee Trophy? 10 initiative, 2 fatigue recovery rate? Uh, on the right person, that would be amazing. 10% experience gain. Now we're talking. This is all madness to me. Skin Ghoul Helmet. I want some justice for my Skin Ghouls. Grant's gruesome? It's not a heavy helmet, though. Immunity from knockback and grab. Immunity surrounded morale penalties. No fatigue penalties from melee damage. 14 fatigue and 370. Oh, that is a fantastic ratio. Um, so anyways, staying focused on what I was talking about, I don't see too many things else that we're close to making with our bits, which is what I'm really doing here. Don't, don't let me looking distracted fool you. Twenty resolve at checks. That's kind of cool. Uh, demon stuff that I can't make. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so I like this idea. Because um, the Noxair Nicholas gets us four resolve, which is probably more like five with our um, fortified mind, but five experience is five experience. If anyone thinks that's not that great of an idea, I, I would like to be very interested in why. Because I think that's, at least in most cases, a really great idea. What's our contract here? Uh, let's talk money. Drop off the brigands at the Hidden Knife Camp west of here. Uh, sure. Like I said, I want these people to like me. And if we can get some of these off, then they might have a better selection. Should I fight these guys? I would kind of like not to. Kind of like to. Oh, it's kind of close by, too. We have thugs, poachers, a raider, a few leaders. Okay, that could be interesting. I'm on the fence about whether or not I should bring up this backup axe. That's a lot of armor. Let's let's do it. As much as I don't want the fatigue penalty, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And having a backup axe might make all the difference. And Renos the Hawk is there, giving us one more leader, but potentially double the pay. A brigand. Okay, well. A dog! Get that dog out of here. Mead Jar. Renos the Honk. A dead dog. Alright. So far, that's all we see. Uh, who are you? You're the raider. Well, you're dressed poorly for a raider. She looks like she was dropped on her face as a kid, or has recently had a stroke. She might currently be having a stroke. Hello, Mr. Nice Axe. That might be the same axe that we have. It still looks pretty nice. Uh, let's start chopping. Ah, brilliant. Kill that guy. Yeah. He had a knife. I didn't trust him. Um, there's me jar. Oh, there's Hawk, and there's me jar. So it's probably just the three of them. Twenty-five percent plus twenty-five defense. I'll take that. I'm going to kill that guy. I'm going to kill you. Oh, oh, saved by the nine lives. Awesome. I'm going to ensure your death as soon as possible. There we go. He wants to run. He is saved by the nine lives. He's got a cut ear. Right into the ear. I think Gray's neck will bleed him out too, which is kind of awesome. So these guys might have taken care of themselves. And I didn't need that shield. Oh, he died. Nine lives and then death. Uh, he died. He bled, but he didn't die. See him blood again. Still not dying. Uh, perfect. That was perfect. Look at that. Chop, chop. Stab, stab. 
Jump, jump, step, step. This new axe is great. And look at that. Yeah, when you get three and a half thousand experience, that that five percent is it's doing work for you. Uh, we did get the axe; it was not special. We did get a helmet; it's also not special. Nothing really special was gained. Well, they can't all be winners, I suppose. We move out. Now the real question is whether or not headhunters are going to stop us. That's that's what I want to know. Uh, let's definitely get our defenses up. I am a huge fan of getting that up. Um, we've been putting points into fatigue, but I might start putting points into resolve. Um, the only reason we survived that out fight yesterday was because of our, of our astounding resolve. And if anyone has an argument to say otherwise to that, I would absolutely love to hear it because I'm convinced that not only did we resist a lot of the sleep, uh, but we also broke out of it very quickly. Well, we have resilient, thank God. Um, otherwise, that we wouldn't have lived. And honestly, I'm, I'll go as far to say is that donkey tanking a lot of that sleep for us was a big part of it as well. But um, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Long speech, click the wrong freaking button. There we go. Um, we'll get this back up a little bit. I'm going to take some levels. Now, here's, here's a good point. We're, we're it's perk time. Do I want quick hands, bag and belts? I think I want quick hands before bags and belts. Steel brown is always nice. Um, there's a lot of really, really good perks to pick still. Uh, forceful swing, AoEs do plus 10% damage. I mean, it's hard to argue that. Um, I haven't been fatigue modifier. Uh, that one's not nearly as good. I haven't been picking the... Um, more damage dealing perks lately. Uh, Sundering Strikes would be good with our new axe. I've been going more defensive, which I think for a while is still going to be the better choice. Um, if we want to kill things, we need to outlast them, is, is the way I'm looking at that. So let's go quick hands. Um, that way, if this axe starts to get low, we can switch out and still get a good attack in. Um, and it would be useful for when we want to switch to other things as well. I know it might not seem like the greatest choice, uh, but I'm I'm happy with it. So I want to repel and heal. Give that poor fool some food and water, please. Okay, we are repaired. Time to get moving. I don't think we needed to heal. Yeah, there's a good chance we might get jumped. Uh, but there's a good chance we might get jumped on the way back, too. I want to go in there with, like, ooh, nice, nice amount of money. I didn't want to go back in there with, like, uh, get jumped by mercenaries, who I think we'd do a great chance of, of winning against, but only if we're prepared. Wow, okay, you guys, you guys still suck. I would like to keep this cleaver. Uh, the chain, yes. This, yes. Golden Goose, of course. Golden Goose says this is not the time to sell. He's right. The Golden Goose is always right. I don't want to pay to have it repaired. I want to repair it myself. Okay, well, this place sucks. Your tools at least good price? Yeah, they are. Phenomenal. Well, let's leave. Um, but in interest of making money, and I am interested in making money, let's set that to repair. We can make good money repairing that and selling it. All right, let's uh, let's set up. Continue this journey. Let's play some weapons with as well. Oh God, I thought that was famed again. I did the same thing last time. Two-handed cleaver, two tile range. I'm listening. Military Volg, as opposed to this non-military Volg. Interesting. Only ten fatigue. Sixty to eighty-five. Eighty-five. Wow, that is that is a hell of a weapon for a backline. Holy crap! Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, Golden Goose says it's a slightly better time to uh, sell some of these things. So let's just sell some of them. Uh, a lot of the cheaper things. Perfectly happy doing. Uh, this axe, however, this even this helmet, we can probably make better at a bigger town. Um, and you know, we can stop. Get a drink, listen to the stories. Don's your fork. Um, he's a drunk uh, donkey person, so you know. We got a motor here. Da, 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 da. Okay, nothing good. Follow the tracks, return the lockbox. Um, I might need some time to think about that one. Yeah, I forget. Sure. <laughs> what did I just get myself into this time? Alright, they're south of here, so. Might not be so bad. Never mind, they're heading straight west into Goblin and Thief territory now. There's two of them. But this is a strong two. You know what else we should probably repair is that guy. And that guy. If I'm gonna need them, I'll, I'm gonna really need them. Alright. That's that's really interesting. I was like, two of them, what the hell? But a leader and a hedge knight? That actually makes sense, and I like that. There's that variation. Uh, not only because it's kind of cool, but it I feel like there's a kind of a story now, you know? Hello uh, there, friend. He's got some armor on him. You don't look like you have much other than a really cool mustache. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna... Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably could have... Probably could have found a better spot to stand, but that's alright. Try to take these hits. Okay, he wants to run. That's fine. Twenty percent. Well, we landed one. We're going to need to breathe, I think. Come on, I want that armor. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, uh, now's my time. Uh, let's just breathe again. Get our initiative up. Yes! Oh, buddy. What did we get? Nothing that special. Um, you know, it's, this is not famed or anything, which I was really, I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping it might be, but that looked expensive. It looks like Prime. We just got paid. Not much money, um, but we just got paid to uh, basically pick up some very expensive backup gear. Holy crap. Let's, let's look at that. What am I doing? What am I doing even not looking at it right now? Um, I mean, it's it's 44 fatigue costs for, I think, two pieces of gear, man. That's on par to, like, everything we're wearing. Um, can we repair this? Let's, let's make sure it's not bugged before we take it apart. Because I'm worried that it's going to be bugged and we're never going to be able to repair it. Okay, it's repairing. We're healing. We are healing, I should say. Uh, let's just... Just keep everything status quo. We got a lot to repair. Set a lot of things to repair. Donkey is... 
nice bonus experience donkey's like never gonna heal from these injuries man i know he's almost done but i'm still gonna stick with what i just said uh, because <laughs> because i've committed I've committed to it i want to repair this thing all the way okay cool before we start taking it apart which is absolutely what i'm gonna do okay okay what did we just get that's the the previous thing we were kind of wearing 170 and 27. So, 75 and 8. This is what we had looked at before. And this is what... Uh, no, not that one. 180 and 28. I mean, I think this is still kind of better. An extra 10 for one fatigue. It's, it's pretty nice. But, that is some nice backup armor. 65 and 7. I think this is what was common to me before, that this was better for us than this. Um, and I'll agree. I'll agree to that completely so let's try to remember exactly what I was wearing um because I don't uh, it wasn't you I think that's better uh, for the fatigue cost I think we already agreed by that I mean I've determined it myself and that's what I wanted and then from there is three four and five so let's take this off Let's put you on. I want you. And you. And uh, I think we need to start finding other pieces for this. I mean, that's really solid. That is really solid. Backup armor. And we got it for free, which is... I'm not going to lie, I'm a little excited about that, if you haven't noticed. Oh, we already had one of these. Well, let's repair that too. One of them, they're worth, they're worth money repaired. Hey, good news. Um, you can sell me things. Really nice things. Or not. That's fine. Jerks. Oh, that armor. Well, I suppose we could sell this for two grand. Holy crap, really? Since we don't really need it anymore, this is way better. I mean, I think there's something to be said to having more backups, but I'm not convinced that's something I really need to do. What do you have here? You have a decently priced uncut gems. Okay. Interesting. And bread. Sure. Let's, let's try to make some money out of this. I believe I believe we could do that. We're about to head to some bigger towns, so let's uh, let's try. Let's try. We're getting close to the end of the episode, but I do want to make it up to these towns and finish our ambition uh, before we end today's episode. So, assuming nothing gets in the way of that, that's that's what we'll do. This wood is a little expensive. You have a stake, which I think is hilarious. Um, Part of me really wants to kill a vampire with a snake, because I think it would be funny. I'm just going to put that out there. Good job. Stop pay. Hunt down what kills the people in the woods. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I would like to do that very much, don't get me wrong. However, that sounds like a great way to get distracted from what I'm trying to do. An armored unhold, really? A beastmaster? God. Damn you people. Did you just run from me? Or did you see? No, no, you saw something more tempting. Alright. Alright, we can outrun them. Uh, we don't seem to be able to really outrun them. But I'm gonna try my best. My, I've honed my juking skills over the years. And this is what it comes down to. 
see if they let's see if they've uh, led me astray or not. Why am I seeing armored unholds? Like really? <laughs> Can we talk about that? I'm not not happy about that. You're not really interested in these gems, which kind of pisses me off. Um, we need some tier three and fours, which, of course, you don't seem to have any. What kind of armor smith doesn't have any tier threes. However, this is the tier four I wanted, so sure, we'll buy it. Golden Goose says prices here aren't that great. I'm kind of inclined to agree. I don't know what their problem is, Golden Goose. Probably the fact that they don't really like me. I'm sure that doesn't help. What's the place again to the northwest of here, not far? I don't know. But something tells me I'm not interested in fighting whatever's there, because it's probably Barbarian Unholtz. Tunic. They spelled thick wrong, though. Just saying. Decently priced tools. Sold. Alright, this town was totally worth putting off visiting. Ugh. That. That is a bad idea. That is a bad idea. I don't like it. They like it. Yeah, really? Jesus Christ. This ambition is going to get me killed. There's a strong possibility of that. They seem to travel slightly better than I do in the snow in the hills, which is not terribly surprising. Also, I think pathing is failing me. Hey, hey. Hey, we should kill those things. Are you up for that? No. Did you just try to get me killed? I'm sorry. Can you go screw yourself? He doesn't seem interested in screwing himself. Uh, this town is trash. Let's leave it. Let's leave it and run. Run, run, run. Thank you. Thank you, Ambition. Let's leave and never come back. I had an idea. It was about not fighting five wintry unholds as much as I would kind of like their skin. Oh, you're in trouble, friend. Let's watch this. Yeah, he's in trouble. Uh, I'm much more keen on fighting three, but, you know. <laughs> you know. You didn't decide all of a sudden to change your prices, did you? Or awful more stuff? No? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. We look drop dead gorgeous on that. Let's very carefully keep an eye on these unholds, because I think that's why these companies are spawning. Whoa, 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 you just wanted to fight me, come back. I've got friends now and you're not interested anymore. If we can catch them, we can hold them. Which would be funny because they're unholds. Right? And maybe, if we're lucky, get a good skin out of this. Dude, shoot the balls on these guys! They're like, yeah, I'm gonna throw myself out there and... Holy shit, they seem much bigger than they used to, no? Not, not just me, is it? No, oh, dude, don't block me. I, I really want it out there. God, God damn you. <laughs> It's bad enough we have to fight through the snow, and I don't have Pathfinder, and I could have picked it up last time, but I didn't. Alright, let's see if that gets me killed. Hopefully not. Yeah, hit him. Great. Um, that's a little less great, but, you know. We're gonna have to fight to try to get... God damn it. <laughs> I just want to get in range. Who are you? Sir Effingham. Wonder how you get a name like that. 
You're just a spy hunter. Does anybody remember the good old days when you could uh, join a fight like this and whoever died, you can pick up all the loot? If they went through and just murdered the hell out of these guys, you could just pick up their gear. Those were good times. Dude, stop that. Can I not just stay engaged with you? There's only one of me. Okay, in my head this was going to be a little bit easier than it's been. I never picked up rotation because why would I? Like, out of all these guys, there's no way they're going to focus me, because defense is just not going to happen. Right? Okay, maybe not. That's okay. I don't care. Either way, as soon as I can, I'm going to start spinning to win. I don't care who you are. Everyone here must die. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we got one. Hey, no matter what. We got an unhold heart. Right? Free heart. Who just leaves a free heart laying around? Nobody. Don't kill him. Leave him. Oh, come on, dude. Hey, you should throw him and move closer to me. That was a nice thought, right? Alright, well, it was, it was interesting. Like I said, free heart. Which I don't... I really think we could do much with, but. This is, this is like totally the cheesiest thing I've ever done. Um, this is the cheesiest thing you've probably ever seen me do. And I, I regret nothing. Dude, you brought your dogs? That's a terrible idea. Look at that. You just killed a dog. I have a little bit of help missing. I think I'm gonna be okay overall. Sir Dinkrad? These are some phenomenal names. Can we just acknowledge that for a second? Wish my name was Sir Dink. Sir Dink the Rad. I wish I could kidnap him and recruit him. Like a little Stockholm syndrome me, you know? Just be like, you're one of us now. You. Sir Dankrad, me, Absurdum the Ape. Very confused. <laughs> Multiple personality, believe I have had six past lives, don't know which is real. Absurdum. One time I was a snake chick. <laughs> One time I lived in a very different world with many different enemies. Now I'm a crusader. I'm very confused about my existence. But you know what? Who isn't? Not Sir Dankrad. He knows what's real. I think, uh, I think I'm going to start demanding people call me Sir Dankrad. But you know, like, only at my job. I think we should be reasonable about this. Uh, this strain sucks, too. i just like to mention the fact that I'm not happy about it. But at the same time, I don't want to be, like, edged out of this fight. Because I can't walk through two lines of people. Let's try that, maybe. Not really sure how that was better. In my head, that was going to work out much better than it did. Like, I want here, but I don't want that. Right? But I, at the same time, I do. I mean, they're probably going to throw me God knows where anyway, so... What? Who brought the fucking sl a slinger? Okay, cool. He moved. That was the guy I really didn't like. Wait, this isn't too many for for them, is it? Alright, Sir Dankard's not even out here. Alright, he's, he's just slowly walking up like a badass. Like, you know, whatever my men can't handle, I will. Like a boss. 
boss. Uh, let's wait to the end of the turn. If they start doing a lot of damage to him, his health is too high right now. I'm not interested unless I can get the kill. Really. Only if you get the kill are you a chance of dropping loot. Come on. Really? You have incredibly disappointed me here. Oh, ouch. There's your opening, Sir Dankrad. Get in there. That guy's skull just got busted. Why am I not fracturing skulls more? That's a real question, right? Well, he'll probably heal from all of that, but that's okay. This dude just 1v1ing that guy with no health left. <laughs> this poor bastard. His family will never know how rough his life was in his last moments, finding a beast six times his size, getting shot in the back by his friends. No, no, he might live. Fracture another skull. No, that's just concussion. Uh, let's wait. Just in case. Nope, he died. Okay, he went down. Okay, I wish I could get in there. Right? Flip me over there so I can just spin. Just helicopter spin. I won't even land rough. I'll just spin down like a, like a maple seed. You guys familiar with maple seeds when they fall? They just kind of like helicopter toil. That would be me. Except there will be a lot more death and blood. Um, which, let's be honest, is exactly what everybody wants. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, good shot. Dankrad's and still not even part of this. He's in, probably not even aware that any of this is happening. His helmet's so big and heavy and god damn it. I was working on that one. He's like, dude, what are we doing out here? It's cold. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Sir Dankrad. You just you just be you. Okay. All of a sudden, he's just going to turn around and see a bunch of dead bodies in it on a hold in his face. He's going to be like, what the f Why didn't anyone tell me this was happening? I thought I heard people screaming. God damn it, I love this guy. I feel like I need to play a campaign that's just me pretending to be him. He's like the best character I've ever had, I think. <laughs> Just a random dude I've created a backstory for in my head. In his shit archers who are insistent on killing his own team. Uh, that's my contribution. Oof. Well, that's less people in the way of the archers, I suppose. <laughs> dude, I said that you still almost killed your friend. What the hell's wrong with you people? <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, do you just slightly more, but not too much damage. Okay. Damn it. I got nothing from that. Except an ass beating. Well, they can't all be winners, but at least we taught the unhold something. I'm not sure what. Uh, but I think they learned. So, admission's complete. Let's leave and, um, I dare say, never come back. I don't like this area. I don't like it at all. It's been 40 minutes. But before we end the episode, I just want to kind of get the hell out of here. There is a big scary beasts. There are barbarians with big scary beasts. Just a lot of things, really. Um, that I could kind of do without. No level 3 armor. What is with you guys? Uh, but you do want my gems. Golden Goose says that this is a great place to sell things. My extra axe. My backup backup armor. Uh, one of those I don't need. That. Not sure where you came from. 
shield as well. Though, honestly, it's probably a kite shield that I need more than anything. Um, cool. We're low on food. Let's, let's fix that. We need crazy awesome weapons. We got a cat of nine tails. Which I like just because you have the word cat in you. That's, that's all it takes. Low on snow. I'm not seeing anything super impressive. Uh, patrol the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a drink. Try to forget about everything that just happened. You're... Tools are okay, but we're okay on tools. Your fish are expensive, your fruits are outrageous. I don't like doing it. You know what? I really don't like doing it. Screw that. We're getting some ham. Or, yeah, ham. Donkey and I are eating well. Alright, well, that was quite the adventure. Uh, there's animal footprints heading out east. I'm slightly intrigued about going and investigating those. But in the meantime, I'm going to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the extra long episode. It was a lot of strange excitement. Um, but it was an opportunity we kind of had to. And we got an unhold heart. I think there's something to be said for that. Uh, but do, of course, always let me know your thoughts. I love hearing from everybody. Uh, last I checked, I was at 699 subscribers. So thank you for everyone who's new coming by. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. I'm so excited, as always, just to hit any milestone. These episodes have been getting such great views, um, such a great amount of comments, seeing so many people. It's it's been an absolute blast, so thank you to everybody. Uh, but whether you're one of the new subscribers or not, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope to see you again soon. And I hope everything is going well and everyone you care about and yourselves are healthy. Take care. <laughs>